to a historical edition of Diecast Restos. My name is Jason and this is the 61B Elvis Stalwart. I say historical because this footage was filmed around 11 months ago. I'd just put the model on the back burner because of a minor screw up. Still, with all the downtime we've had recently, I thought it a good idea to revisit old projects and get them finished once and for all. This stalwart was in an okay state, just suffering from a touch of paint loss and decal damage, and it was also missing its canopy. I think I scrambled around a year ago to find a set of six tyres. Here's an image of the real life Elvis stalwart. So a year ago, I started removing the rivet edge with a 5mm drill bit. Then I used a 1.5mm drill bit to drill down into the post. But the bit snapped inside the post. So here I am, one year on to finish the job that I started. I'd struggled to figure out how to split the model into the top and bottom half, and so I just left it for another day. What I did this time though was thread a narrow flathead screwdriver between the tongue and slot at the front end and wedge it open. Finally, I had my model apart. Here's the unique window unit with the suspension piece attached. So all I do now is remove the green hubs from the axles and here are all of the component pieces. Now I add boiling water to the metal parts and caustic soda to strip the paint. The Alvis stalwart entered service with the British Army in 1966 as a general transport truck. It was developed by Alvis, who had manufactured the similar Saracen, Saladin and Salamander. It was known as the HMLC High Mobility Load Carrier, and informally known as the Stolly by servicemen. It was designed to be amphibious, with entry to the cab through the roof hatches for the driver and two passengers. Its engine, which was concealed underneath the load bed, was an 8 cylinder 6.5 litre Rolls Royce unit. The stalwart was designed to carry 5 tonnes of equipment, or tow 10 tonnes. It was in service with the British Army until 1992, and also served with the militaries of Austria, Germany, Italy, Sri Lanka and Sweden. Apparently 6 stalwarts were used by civil operators, including a pre-production and one other being used by British Petroleum BP, as was borne on the sticker on the sides of this model. Unfortunately, I can't find anything concrete to support this other than a few hearsay tales on forums and such like. The vast majority of photographs see the stalwart in military guise. The model though was introduced to the Matchbox range the same year it entered service with the British Army, 1966. The range already included the sister vehicles of the 54A Saracen, the 67A Saladin, the only one I'm yet to restore, and the 63B Crash Tender, or Salamander, which I've restored quite recently. This model is an early version as it has a flat load bed. The later ones were grooved. Labels replaced decals partway through production, and though it transcended into the Superfast era, it never had any mention of the word on the casting or on the boxes either. Superfast variants had the green hub swapped to yellow. It was deleted in 1971, though it was reintroduced in military twin packs in 1978, recolored dark green. Here I'm spraying on Tamiya TS26 Pure White. Here's the body after a single coat of white over the white primer. It should really only take two coats to cover. Then I tap the hubs back onto the axles and touch up the ends of the axles with a chrome paint pen. Now I peel off the reproduction stickers, making sure to place the BP crest at the front of the model as there is one for either side with differing orientations. Then I just gently press it into place and prepare to do the same for the left hand side. Next I move on to reassembly. 
the window cum suspension piece is fitted, and the tab is slotted into the gap at the front to reconnect the body and base. Having already refitted the tyres, I did have a bit of trouble fitting together, but eventually it better slip that tyre back on. Then to pop on the reproduction canopy, and this restoration is finally complete. So this is how the 61B Alvis stalwart looked when we started. A bit shabby, lacking paint and with damaged decals, it wasn't a great model. I'd scavenged together some tyres to complete a set, but I did need to get a new set of stickers and replacement canopy. So this is what the stale old stalwart looks like now. This model has benefited hugely from a fresh coat of white paint. The windscreen has been revitalised with a polish using Autosol and Astonish. The tyres have been finished with a gloss coat of Citadel, and the axle ends have received a touch of chrome. Reproduction stickers and a reproduction canopy were bought in to complete this well overdue restoration. I'm just glad it's finally done after all this time. Anyway, I hope you've liked this video, if you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and please have a look at my Patreon page and support if you can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.